Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokémon White version! Last time, we went around Nimbasa City and beyond, seeing the sight, sounds, and sensations that it had to offer. We saw two sports stadiums, we saw a Pokémon musical, we got a new HM move, we did a lot! However, this time, we still have even more of the city to check out, and first of all, if you want to leave the city to the west, after you have seen Bianca and her dad have their touching moment and their family reunion and all that stuff, you can go out this way. Nothing is stopping you. I don't see that as overly necessary for right now for reasons that we'll talk about later, but if you want more trainers to train against and just more stuff to do, that's there for you. What we're going to be doing instead is getting on our bicycle like we should have been doing for the last 20 minutes. Even though we've only been here for a few seconds still, it bears that exaggeration because of just how important it is. I won! Then I lost. Gear Station has trains where you can battle other trainers. Battle Subway. You're a trainer, aren't you? Please just accept this without a word. Yes, please. What, are you never gonna battle again? So you're like, I, because I'm never battling again because I lost, I don't need to record any more battles because I won't be doing any more battles. If you have a versus recorder, you can record battles with friends or on the Battle Subway. Anyway, this woman of mystery will go somewhere. That's right. She'll go to the Battle Institute. I am so sorry for you. You were honestly doing the lesser of two evils, and uh, you're going to have a very rude awakening once you learn that. Well, the Versus Recorder was an interesting little item. You could save your battles to it, and um, I really miss being able to upload your battle videos and review them at any time. I had probably dozens of just really fun to watch battles of crazy stuff happening that I recorded with my friends back in the day in various battle facilities. And they're all gone, because the servers were shut down years ago, and I never backed them up. I'm gonna miss them. With our Versus Recorder in hand, though, we'll go check out Gear Station, and it's rockin' music. Love this rockin' version of the battle facility theme. Oh, it's so grand. Hi, hi. Please tell me how you introduce yourself before a battle and how you feel when you win or lose. You can set introductions that you'll have whenever um, opponents challenge you to battles in multiplayer, as well as things that you'll say when you win or lose, of course. How do I introduce myself? Oh, I can't type in whatever I want. I was gonna say you there. <laughs> Fine, I'll say please you. <laughs> After all, I am here to please you. When I win. I win, thanks. <laughs> How about, I win, I'm sorry. You win regret. <laughs> congratulations, you win regret. How about, congratulations, you win money. <laughs> That's true of any Pokemon battle. <laughs> and uh, when I become number one, what is the default message? Number one? Wow, I'm so glad! <laughs> oh man, that's what I get to change? That's lame. Grandfather? Wow, I'm so glad! <laughs> I like having quirky little things like that. Thanks, Grandfather, huh? <laughs> Even he is questioning my sanity and he is a computer program. Uh, talk to- Get over here! The Battle Subway. As the name suggests, it's a subway where trainers wage battles. There are many different trains that you can take, all with their own different unique gimmicks and styles of battle. Under construction, okay, so we can't do that yet. This might seem a little bit strange. Why would they open up the battle facility to you right now? If you go in there, you're gonna get your ass handed to you, right? You're not gonna be able to do anything. Just why would you even have this available? Well, not exactly. Right here and now, I recommend that we go the multi-trains, and we're going to do that regardless of whether or not I recommend it because, well, I have control over this at the current moment. You have not controlled me yet. I want to show you the prize exchange and the kinds of things that you can buy here. So we have the TM for Smackdown, a flying Pokemon will fall to the ground when it's hit. Round uh, makes it so that when more Pokemon in the same turn use it, it'll do more damage. Swagger we've already gone over. Pluck uh, we've already gone over as well. Sludge Wave is a fantastic poison type move with 95 power, 100 accuracy, and hits all enemies. Greatly makes up for poison not being a good attacking type. 
Uh, we have Ally Switch. Uh, user uses a teleporting a strange power and switches in place with one of its allies. That's a little interesting. It's only really useful in something we haven't seen yet. Incinerate. Pfft. Quash. Whatever that means. User suppresses the target and makes its move go last. Only really useful in double battles. Explosion. You knock yourself out to do the most powerful attack in the game. It is normal type 250 power and you have the opponent's defense to do the damage. Hits everything in a double battle. And Psych Up. Hypnotizes, the user hypnotizes itself to copy any stat change made by the target. Can be nice for, well, psyching yourself up right away. So we got some good TMs to all right TMs to downright awful TMs. You have the vitamins, which will permanently raise the effort values of your various stats, making it so you'll gain more points in those on level ups. I don't want to get too into how effort values work on a technicality level, but basically the Pokemon that you defeat in battle award points that can be that earn you stat ups on your level ups. It's similar to IVs where your stats can be higher by a few points by the time you reach level 100 based on the types of Pokemon you fight and the types of items that you use on them. This can also be helped by the power items. These decrease your speed stat only while held temporarily, important distinction, and give you more effort values in the specified stat. We have the Toxic Orb, which will badly poison the holder in battle. This can have some applications with certain abilities and some other moves. Flame Orb will burn the user. The White Herb will restore any stat that has been lowered in battle. Can be good if you have a move that lowers your stats. Maybe you're using Victini and you want to be able to use, um, well, actually, I just, you can't use V-Create, though. So that's a bad example. Hooray! But you know what I mean. There's certain moves that will lower your stats and as a negative effect of doing a lot of damage. This is useful for those, but it's gone after one use, so I wouldn't recommend it for single player. Any sort of regular use item will be rewarded back to you normally at the end of a battle whenever you're in the battle subway or in any form of multiplayer. So that's why it's useful. Power Herb will make it so that a move that needs a turn of charge up will immediately charge up. If I was feeling really generous to Sandile, I could put that on Dig, but I don't. Absorb Bulb, if the user is hit by a water move, its special attack will rise. I don't see this item used hardly at all, and I've always found it interesting that it's not. I feel like maybe it has some untapped potential, but what do I know? I can't really say that I'm a competitive player, at least not these days. The Cell Battery, if the holder is hit by an electric type move, its attack will rise, similar. The red card is a little weird. When struck by an attack, you force your opponent into switching to another Pokemon whether they like it or not. The eject button is the inverse. When you are struck by an attack, you switch out. Wise glasses will boost the power of special moves. Choice specs lock you into using only one move, but makes it so that your special attack is multiplied one and a half times, very similar to the choice scarf that we've already seen. Scope lens we already have. Zoom lens we've already gone over. Wide lens we've already gone over. Muscle Band slightly boosts the power of physical moves similar to the Wise Glasses for special moves. The Focus Band makes it so that sometimes you hang on with 1 HP whenever you would have gotten taken down by an attack. The Choice Band raises your attack one and a half times but locks you into only one move. Choice Scarf we've already seen. Focus Sash makes it so that you cannot be knocked out in one hit. It's basically an item version of the Sturdy ability. Razor Claw increases your critical hit ratio. And it also evolves a certain Pokemon that we can't obtain. Razor Fang is the exact same way, but with Flinch. Bright Powder lowers the opponent's accuracy. Oh my god, there's a lot of these items! <laughs> I'm running low on breath out. Okay. I keep thinking we're almost to the end, but we're not. Life Orb is a great, 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 great item that will boost the power of your moves, but make it so that you take recoil damage. Iron Ball makes flying type and levitating Pokemon susceptible to ground moves and cuts the speed in half. Strange item, hard to use. It's really good for fling because it does lots of damage if you fling it at your opponent, but I don't know if anybody can even learn that up to this point. I have not noted it if you can. Air Balloon, we heard about briefly back in town, makes it so that you will be immune to ground moves, but when attacked, the item will burst. Gotta use it, on good, gotta use it to get good switch-ins or predicting your opponent using that. The Binding Band will increase the power of binding moves when held, so things like, well, bind. And then Rare Candy, you already know what it does. Holy crap, that was a lot. I didn't think this list was so long. I knew there were a lot, but sheesh. This stuff is a must if you want to do competitive battling, though. So it's really great that this is all right here in one place. But you're probably thinking, why the heck are you going over all this? There's no way that we'll stand a chance in any sort of battle in the battle subway. Well, I got good news. We're gonna enter into the multi-train. We're not gonna communicate with a friend. 
Instead, we are going to enter, let's enter Arken and uh, Terabyte. You guys have some, well, you guys compliment one another. Uh, yeah, you do, because you're weak to electric, you're immune to electric. You don't really do the same for Terabyte, but we'll go with that no less, because I think you're probably the two strongest members of our team right now. We're gonna save. I sincerely hope that this recording does not fail. That is always a scare whenever the game makes you save. And right on cue, ha! I'm healed. Duh. You're challenging the multi-train for the first time, right? You can't take this challenge alone. You need a partner. Are you here by yourself today? Why don't you team up with me then? It'll be fun. What sort of Pokemon should I use? Focused on attack, focused on defense, focus on balance. So <laughs> we'll go focus on uh, attack. Okay, I'll focus on attack, then let's begin. Now, please board the multi-train. Whether it is Hilbert or Hilda, they will join up with you and battle alongside you if you do not link up with friends. And I recommend that you don't link up with friends. Wait, the master and shaker of the universe? <laughs> We're battling against He-Man in a white suit trying to blend in with the cool kids, yes. So, in these battles, Surge, Boo, and Pound. Oh, I get it, Rich Boy Pound, because Pound is a type of currency. I remember when I was a kid, I thought that, uh, because of like how it was portrayed on TV, I thought England was still like in the medieval times with castles and everything, and the reason why their currency was Pounds was because that's how many pounds of gold you needed to like buy something, to like trade for things, because they didn't have money. But uh, my childhood silliness aside, you notice that our ally has a pretty strong, pretty capable Pokemon, and our opponents aren't even using fully evolved stuff, you can easily take your own in here. Your levels are set to level 50. The days of setting Pokemon to level 100 are over, as per VGC rules. So this is kind of where that all got started, where level 100 no longer became a common thing. And really, even if you suck, even if your Pokemon aren't terribly strong, the fact that you're being put on a level playing field in terms of levels, and your ally is just gonna bring such powerful Pokemon to these battles when your opponents just aren't, at least in the first few challenges. I mean, look at that. She knew that I was immune to ground and just used Earthquake on that mean foo. It was no problem at all. I'm able to just utterly dominate these battles. And really, you might as well participate in them. They don't give you any sort of experience, but just the fact that you can win them so easily, in an hour or two of doing this, you could win this tournament multiple times and be able to afford at least some good item out of there. If nothing else, you can afford a ton of vitamins and just sell them at shops for tons of money. I think that this is one of the best inclusions of battle facilities, if only because you can do that so easily. As soon as I'm praising the difficulty being easy, I... <laughs> Man, okay, that was close. <laughs> Arkin stole the Yachi Berry. Uh, uh-oh. So, Hilda, what else did you bring? I hope it's good. Bufalons? <laughs> These are Pokemon we're not gonna be able to obtain for an exceedingly long time, and it's kind of incredible that we have something like that. Encore, dual chop up. Wow, uh, that was an important turn. I'll pluck that Axu right out of existence. And it's also using Earthquake, knowing that I have an Arcan, so I won't take any sort of damage for it. How great is that? Oh, and it has a life orb on it, making it hit even harder. That's really cool. I got carried away. I'm worried about my future prospects. This is gonna go on for a while. A challenge of this, I believe, is seven games. Pretty sure, not totally certain about that. We'll go on to car number two. And I'll meet you back here after we emerge victorious or don't. Go easy on me, this is my first battle. I will, I am very strong. I will never lose. When your three-year-old brother is more confident and has seen more combat than you. Even if you lose both of your Pokemon, which might very well happen as you start getting up to more evolved Pokemon in the later challenges, that doesn't mean that you instantly lose. Just so long as one of you is still standing at the end of the battle, you're absolutely fine. Hilda was able to basically win that battle for me. Because we have to give her the meat to pass it into the later floors of the dungeon. I'm not an ordinary backpacker, because I'm a newlywed. Should I call Chris Hansen? 
My boyfriend left me on a rainy day, so I will take it out on you. I carry around this umbrella even indoors to this day as vendetta for what he did to me. I am no mere hiker. Call me an alpinist! Very rarely did a battle take more than a minute or so. Another great thing about doing this is that double battles are over almost instantly. They are, they're gone in just a few turns. Because of that, uh, sure, we'll save this battle video, I guess. <laughs> Have it as a commemorative thing that I can look back on many years from now whenever I dig this cartridge out of storage when I'm an old man. Kind of getting very deep on there, or something that's probably not even going to happen, but it's kind of what I like to do is imagine things. We're going to walk out of this train while it's still in motion and die. Oh, how convenient. It was coming to a stop right as our foot was about to hit the ground. Glad to know that Hilda would follow me anywhere. Congratulations, you've successfully reached a seven win streak. Since you've won seven in a row, I present you with these battle points. We got three BP for that. The difficulty will go up every consecutive time that you clear seven battles in a row, but as will the rewards. You can see the breakdown of it on screen right now. By doing this for maybe a couple hours or so, you could probably get some of those better items. It's definitely doable. I've done it before where there've just been strategies where I've really wanted to pull something off and I knew that an item would make a Pokemon a lot better. Almost every item that is obtained through the BP exchange is exclusive to there. You got a lot of grinding ahead of you for better or for worse if you want to obtain every single hold item, which is why I'd recommend that you don't do it because you're probably going to hate the battle subway and hate yourself if you do that. She's just telling us that uh, trainers get progressively tougher over time. If you have to wound, the trip goes on. Relying on Pokemon, this vagabond. Oh, if you won. <laughs> Not if you wound. I was like, what is wounding? Is that like swooning? Had a taste of it. The rush of battle. I shouldn't. It's too wild. But at this rate, I'm going to end up like on the, on the path of battlers. Oh, it's a wild ride. I'll just say that much right there. You're the subway bosses. Okay. You need to win 21 battles in a row to be challenged by the Battle Subway bosses. They're special battles, and that's why you get significantly more BP for your 21st win. They're pretty tough trainers, and I don't really think you can handle them with your current team, but then again, I could be wrong, because I'll just be straight up, Arkin was doing awesome in those fights. Because Arkin's stats were so high, as long as it wasn't in Defeatist, it was able to hold its own against Evolved Pokemon. You can continue your challenge right away, but I think instead I'm just going to go back to Nimbasa. Actually, no, I want to talk to Hilda. There's still a lot more to go, but let's do our best. Uh, you can have fun with that. I'm going back to Nimbasa City. I know a lot of people don't like the Battle Subway, and I wasn't super fond of it at first, but once I found this, once I found that you could actually get battle points and get lots of great items right away, and it's not even a hard or time consuming, okay, it is time consuming though, but it's not nearly as time consuming as it could be because you can win battles without even taking damage. I did it multiple times. This is great. If we check this map, we can see where these subways go around Unova. They're, this doesn't mean anything. For instance, you can't travel to the forest clearing in progress by going on that pink line, which would be kind of cool. You don't actually get to go to any of the places on these trains because you're a lowly battler and you're too busy fighting to actually use a train for its intended purpose. <laughs> so, can't really do that. There are a few other things to the battle subway, however. We haven't talked about super trains yet. They're pretty much the same thing, only harder, in that the trainers... <laughs> I've been waiting to say that. Uh, they will have competitively viable teams from the get-go. You can't participate in these right away. You have to become significantly stronger, let's just say that much, before they'll let you challenge them. On those, you do get higher BP rewards, of course, and you do have the added challenge there, but they play into something else. The trainers that we were talking to in that quaint little station platform after our seventh win, they will sometimes have items for you. After 21 consecutive wins on any train, they will give you a PP up. Again, good selling fodder, much like the vitamins, if you're not going to use it. However, on the super trains, after 28 consecutive wins, they will give you a rare candy. After 105 consecutive wins, you heard me right, you will get the rare Landsat Berry, one of the most difficult items to obtain in any Pokemon game, always having ludicrous requirements for actually obtaining it. This will sharply raise your critical hit chance when you drop below one quarter of your max HP as a hold item. 
And then, lastly, after 203 consecutive wins on a Super Train, a win streak that I've personally never achieved in any battle facility, you will get the Starf Berry, another much sought after rare item. This will sharply raise any random stat when you go below one quarter of your max HP. Is it worth it? Hell no! Don't not torture yourself with this, seriously. I think honestly you'd be less nuts to buy a used copy of Pokemon Battle Revolution, play it without having access to the internet, and just grinding up Poke coupons to be able to afford it there. I think that is significantly less maddening than this. But that's Battle Subway. I know that it was a lot of explaining and not so much fighting, but I wanted to show this to you because I was very pleasantly surprised when I found out that you could actually hold your own in here for the moment of you got to Nimbaza City. And I wanted to share that with you because I just thought it was that cool when I learned about it. So anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. Next time on Pokemon Black and White, we're gonna see something not really related to the Battle Subway, but kinda related at the same time. Hard to explain, but you'll understand. See you guys then.